day 126, 8 July 2021. What are you doing on the other side of that gate? Uh, that's our first hike is the obstacles to cross the gate. Yeah, we had like an hour and two minute ride out here to slack pack. In the middle of nowhere. <laughs> and then uh, this gate's closed here, so we gotta walk, uh, he said a quarter of a mile, maybe one third of a mile, till we get to the trailhead. And uh, then we're gonna do 15 miles south. Where we, was this something, Pond Road? Uh, West Branch Pond Road. I think we're going over White Cap Mountain. Okay, well, it's a little after 7 o'clock, so we gotta get going. That's a late start for us. And okay, we found the uh, trail crosses our gravel road. So, we're going over this way. I think 15 miles to get picked up again on the gravel road. first view this morning and I do hear water way down in the, the bottom running because yesterday we only really found one spot for water and it had some foamy white stuff in it I didn't think it was very good I didn't drink it I just used the water I had with me I had one water bottle all day yesterday Okay. Better get going. What well, looks like down there. We're on top of White Cap Mountain. And there's all kinds of lakes and ponds. And we're supposed to get some rain this evening. But old Max thinks he's spotted our target in the distance. Thinks uh, that's Katahdin. Let me get my finger right there. So uh, as we get closer, we'll find out, I guess. But we're actually heading south, back to where we ended up yesterday on our slack pack, to the gravel road, and back to Shaw's tonight. Well, that sure looks like a good place to see a moose. Looks like a muddy bog. Not a whole lot of water, though. Yeah, this is what the trail looks like. I think we got about six miles of this left until we're out. I think we went over three uh, mountain peaks. So it's smoothing out, just a lot of roots now. And downhill a little bit. Okay, we're here at the west branch of the Pleasant River. I told old Mac I was going to rock hop across it. <laughs> What's going on down there? Yeah. I told him I didn't want to get my shoes wet, but he said uh, rocks hurt your feet. I said, uh, it'll be all right. And it is kind of cold and they are slimy. But I think we got time, so I took my shoes off. <laughs> and it does hurt your feet. And the rocks are real slimy, hard to stand up. So I hope this phone don't get wet. <sighs> yeah, I don't try to stand on a big rock. My foot just slid off. Oh yeah, it definitely hurts the arch of your feet and the rocks are all mo moss covered. <sighs> I'm not quite all the way across. He's waiting on me to get all the way across, I believe. 
I'm standing on some dry rocks now. Okay, now I'm all the way across. Let's see what he's going to do about it. We'll see how he deals with it. He's carrying my shoes, so I hope he stays upright. So I had a camera in one hand and my poles in the other. Suppose the storm's coming up from Florida tomorrow. So we're going to have wet feet tomorrow anyways, what he's saying. As long as he don't fall, it's hard to believe the moss are on them rocks. Oh, oh. oh God, that's about what I did. It's not that deep, but slippery. Yeah, you danced around about like I did. I know, it was pretty slick. All right, made it across. Nobody really fell. Thank you. 